Hi friends, how are you today? As you know, I love books, I love good stories, and I love sharing them with you. And I have such a good one today. It's called, I Found a Kitty. Aww. And it is written and illustrated by Troy Cummings. Do you remember the other one we read that he did? Can I be your dog? Well, this is part two. Uh, to that story. And if you missed it, be sure to go back and listen to it. And again, subscribe and you'll never miss a story. Okay, let's get started and look at our friend Arfi. He's got his pencil and his diary. And he writes, Dear Diary, Woof! Today I played outside. It was Tuesday, so I dug up a stick and barked at a bird. But then I smelled something new. I followed the smell across two backyards and down to a drain pipe. The smell wasn't a treat or a tennis ball or an old boot. Hmm. It was a friend. Meow. Aww. He needed a home, so I got to work. There's Arfie writing, I found a kitty. All right, here he starts with his letters. Dear music teacher, I found a kitty. Can you help him? His name is Scamper. I really, really, really want to keep him, but my person is allergic to cats. Achoo! Scamper likes to eat, play, and poop in a box. He also likes to sing. I know he would make beautiful music with your students, your neighbor, Arfi. And look at little Scamper delivering the letter. Okay. Dear Arfi, Scamper is a wonderful kitten. His tail twitches to the beat, but his high notes are simply too much. I'm sorry, I was hoping for more harmony in my household, but with Scamper here, I can hardly find a single measure of rest. Best wishes in your search, Maestro Mitch. Meow. I don't think Scamper has the same tune as everyone else. Dear cute little neighbor babies, I found a kitty. He's a lot like you. He takes naps, eats every two hours, and likes to crawl on it under the couch on his tummy. Can you help him? Sincerely, Arfi. Okay, Scamper's taking the letter in. Let's see. Dear Arfi, we have wanted a little itty bitty kitty since the day we were born. We snuggled with him in the morning snuggled, nestled with him in the afternoon and squeezed him like a teddy bear at night. But then a funny thing happened. He squirmed out of our arms and ran out the door. Guess we'll go back to snuggling our fuzzy wuzzy sheep blankie. Beanie, Bonnie, and Boo. Hmm, guess that didn't work out. Dear nice mechanic, can you help my kitty? I saw a mouse at your garage one time, and we all know cats are great at catching mice. I bet Scamper would pounce on the chance to help you out. Your pal, Arfi. And look at little Scamper bringing the letter to Lugnut Garage. Okay. Here's a note from Lugnut Garage. Dear Arfi, you're right. My garage has a huge mouse problem. Those little squeakers are bumper to bumper in here. I was all revved up to give Scamper a chance, but he didn't eat a single mouse. He just played with them. Sorry to throw a wrench in your plans, but I need a mouser who's willing to sink his teeth into his work. Emily Lugnut, mechanic. Hmm. To the people in the fancy building with the red carpet out front. Can you help my kitty? Scamper's fur is shiny and his eyes are sparkly like the stars on your sidewalk. 
Woof, all due respect. Arfi. It says Glitzy Studios. Mm, maybe this is the one. And here's a telegram to Arfi from Melissa Glitz, talent agent. Arfi, baby, I've been on the prowl for someone like Scamper. From the moment he entered my studio, I knew he'd be a superstar. All I had to do was style his fur and polish those teeth and do something about those claws. But then, right after his photo shoot, Scamper gagged and twitched and hacked up a two-pound hairball right into my designer handbag. So sorry, darling, but our little glamour puss would be more at home on a living room rug than on the red carpet. XOXO, Missy. <sighs> Dear cat lover guy, I was sniffing around your bushes and I noticed something about your house. You have cat curtains, a cat clock, cat wallpaper, a cat sofa, a cat toilet seat, and a whole bunch of tiny, shiny cat statues. But you don't have an actual cat. Can you help my kitty? I think Scamper would fit right in. Hopefully, Arfie. And look at little Scamper with the letter going to the mailbox. And the name on the mailbox says Delgato. Dear Arfi, I've spent my whole life collecting kitty cat knickknacks. Scamper is just what I was missing. Our first morning together was dreamy. I fed him, brushed him, and tucked him into his kitty bed. We both purred with delight. But then he started to play. That frisky kitten knocked over my entire collection of ceramic cats, my figurines, and my heart were shattered. Oh no, I'm sorry, but Scamper is too playful to be part of my collection. Herbert Delgato. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Arr, says Orphy. Look at Scamper sees the chalk. Hmm. I think she's gonna write him a note. Arfi, don't be sad. You're a good doggy. Thank you for trying to find me a home. I sang, I cuddled, I played, I got brushed. But meow, do I put this? None of those people were right for me. I need a home where I can do all of those things. But where could such, where could we find such a place? Scamper. Hmm. Do you have any ideas? They're looking on a map. It says, you are here. Oh, Arfie's thinking of something. They're right outside the Butternut Nursing Home. Hmm. Dear Butternut Nursing Home, can you help my kitty? He loves music. He loves to play. He loves to take naps in a lap in a sunny room and he loves making people happy. In fact, I think he could help you. I hope you agree your home would be perfect for him. With love, Arfi. P.S. Mew. That's from Scamper. And there's Scamper with the letter. Look at everyone's gathered around. What are they gonna decide? And they're petting him. Scamper is purring. Scamper gets to sing to the music and play with balls of yarn and even get a little goldfish biscuit treat. Oh. Oh, and look at little Scamper on the lap. Everyone's so happy. And Arfie and his owner, the mail carrier, are watching everyone. And it looks like it's a happy ending for Scamper after all. Oh. Arfie found him a home for her home. And here's how you can help a homeless kitty or puppy. You can volunteer at a pet adoption event. You can spay or neuter your pet so there'll be fewer kitties 
and puppies to find homes for. You can donate to your local animal shelter or advocacy group, and there's a whole bunch listed here. You can adopt a shelter animal instead of buying one. And don't forget to meet all the kitties and pooches. Remember, some may be shy, some may be scared, some are older or tired or even missing a leg. They need love too, and they haven't given up. Give the unlovables a chance to win your heart. Aww. Love, Scamper, and Arfie. Isn't that a sweet story? That is the fabulous book, I Found a Kitty. And I hope you liked it as much as I do, friends. I hope you're having a great day. I wonder if there's a kitty or puppy in your life that you just love so much. I'd love to hear about it. Okay, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.